I wanted to use my Panasonic GH5 and other cameras as a web camera for streaming and to also use for Skype and video chats. Here's my MacBook Pro, here's the camera setup. I wanted to find a way to go HDMI from my camera to my computer. There's a lot of solutions out there. I purchased two of them. Here is the USB capture HDMI from Magwell. And here is one from Digit Now. The difference between these two, because they look very similar. In fact, if I remove the text here, you wouldn't be able to tell really the difference. But it's HDMI, uh, HDMI in to USB 3.0 out. They look identical. There is a price difference. The Magwell is $300 and the Digit Now is $100. I didn't know which one to get, so I purchased both of them, and I'm gonna test them out right now and see which one will work best for my situation. I also purchased the Blackmagic uh, Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, but this is a Thunderbolt 2, and the new Macs are USB-C, or Thunderbolt 3. Uh, I could get an adapter, but it's just another thing I have to worry about. And also, with this Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, you need to install Blackmagic's drivers, and then it'll work. It doesn't, it's not plug and play. But the Magwell is plug and play, and the Digit Now is plug and play. This came with an HDMI cable, and it came with a USB 3.0 cable. The Magwell, even though it cost $200 more, only came with the a USB 3.0 cable. Because I have a 2018 MacBook Pro, need to have a bunch of dongles. This one is to 3.0 USB. First, I'm gonna test the Digit Now USB 3.0 Capture HDMI. Plug in that side and plug in there. As soon as I plug it in, got the lights to show that it's on. What I'm gonna use, just for this test, I'm gonna use just uh, the QuickTime player, and in the QuickTime player, I'm gonna set up a new movie recording. All right, new movie recording, and I'm gonna select the webcam. Boom, there it is. Wow, what a nice image. With, with this, and then I'm also gonna use the microphone on my camera. So the microphone, it, the audio is coming through the microphone, feeding through the HDMI, going to the capture card, through USB, going into this dongle, moking, now going into the computer, and feeding to QuickTime Player. All right, that's all set up. It doesn't look like it's recording audio though. Is this on? Let's see here. Switch it to MacBook Pro audio. Yeah, it's recording audio on MacBook Pro, but it's not recording the audio through the HDMI. That sucks. I wonder why, I wonder why that's happening. I do not know why that's happening. Okay, it's not recording audio, no big deal. Let's just record the video. Here is the video quality. I am going to press record now. There we go, I'm recording that he, um, it's a mister, essential oil mister, recording that. Okay, that was 30 seconds, stopping that, and there's the recording. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug that and unplug the digit now. And now here's the mag, Magwell. Magwell or Magwell? I'm gonna say it's Magwell. Could also be Magwell. Sorry, Magwell or Magwell. Mispronounce your company name. Okay, plug that in. It also boots up really fast. Cameras hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. Gonna open up QuickTime here. 
QuickTime player. Now the audio on the Digit Now didn't work. So let's see if the audio on the new one works, the Magwell. Okay, oh, I gotta switch to the USB capture device. All right, there we go, that looks good. And then I'm gonna switch over to the, oh, wait a minute. What the heck? It froze. What, what's going on? Picture froze. All right, there we go, recording starting up. I'm letting this video play in real time so that you guys, can, what the heck is this? Operation could not be completed, okay. So here's the issue I've had with these capture devices here, with the Magwell. I'm gonna say Magwell, and if it's Magwell, I've been saying it wrong. With this one, it cost $300. So I was using it with Skype, and then just now with the QuickTime player to record directly from my camera via HDMI. And the $100 one, the Digit Now, worked every time had no problems except the audio wouldn't record uh, on QuickTime, but it did record using Skype. So when I was using Skype, the camera audio was picked up and passed through the HDMI to the USB 3.0, and that was fine. The Magwell had some issues. Uh, the I would f be freezing the uh, Skype interface recorder would freeze my Skype calls would freeze and it wouldn't work anymore When I was looking at the video quality when it was working. I noticed that the Magwell Had slightly better quality video. It was brighter the the colors looked better, but uh, It was brighter the colors look better than the digit now but if it doesn't work, and if it's gonna be buggy, I'm not gonna hold on to it. So it, it looks, it appears to me, with my usage of this, the Digit Now, the $100 Digit Now, is really all I need and uh, for, for my streaming and using it as for Skype. There's ways around the audio issue that I'm gonna figure out. I know there's ways around it. But when something just doesn't work, uh, I'm gonna have to return it. So I'm gonna give this one back, and I'm gonna stick with the Digit Now. If you're looking for higher quality video and maybe you have other uses, this could be something to get. There's a lot of great reviews for Magwell, and it's been around a lot longer. I believe this device was released in 2014, and this one was released in 2017. But for, for what these are, plug and play, uh, it's, I, I don't wanna fuss about it, and I'm not looking for the best quality when I'm streaming. I just want it to work. So I'm gonna stick with the Digit Now, get rid of this one, and maybe not even use the Blackmagic Mini Recorder.